Okay, I'm getting ready to break my row up, plant my my peas. I got my road broke up. Got my old push planter. I still go, I still do gardening by the old standards, I guess you call it. I just like it. It's better that way to me. And I'm gonna put these uh, zipper peas I bought. I got about a pound of them. And I'll, I set my old planter plant peas as you see they're about a about a half inch quarter inch something like that I got some good moisture out there today and I'm going to put these in here and I'm going to show you how this old plant works pretty good These are treated, by the way. I, I bought treated seeds. Sometimes them old birds like to come by and nibble at the at the seed. So I just put got them uh, bought some with uh, treated. I'm getting ready now, and I'm gonna go down through the plant for peas. I'm going to walk down to the other end and we'll come back this way.
just that simple. Got a roll of peas now. I got it pretty straight, it ain't too straight. Daddy always said, you get more peas on a crooked row. But that's the way I do it, that's the way I plant. I'm gonna start irrigating now. If y'all wanna hang with me, that's fine. I'm going to show you how I do it, how I irrigate. What I do, my wife says set this thing up on a tripod and that way I won't be going all the way around the world and, and back. Because I know sometimes I get out there in that garden and I start spinning it around and I know I was kind of agitating at times, but I lay the water hose out here in the garden. Then I can dam it up about over about five, ten foot, something five, seven, eight, ten foot, something like that. And I'll dam it. And I'll let the water go down that middle. And then when that water goes down and hits that, that dam, It'll build up. Once it'll get above that dam, it'll start trickling over and it'll bust through that dam. And then it goes to the other one. And after it hits that dam so far, it goes on to the end. Each and every time as it builds up and fills the middle up each and every time with that dam to back the water up in other words. Then when it gets down to the other end, I dam it up and keep the water in the middle. And I'll show you how all that's, how I'm gonna do all that. water every other middle there's no use of water in every middle I mean the, the plants will still get the same amount of water if it's standing on them because it'll go under that row I've seen it go under that row come out on the other side onto the other middle at times if if the ground broke up and I believe this ground broke up pretty uh,
take this off in this tripod and go ahead and show you a little more if I can. Today just been one of them days for some reason. And like, you ever have one of them days? See what I'm saying? It's puddling up. And I let it build up to the top of that dam. And it'll build up and it'll come over the top of it. And then I have a, some water here that goes through there and it'll go down. And I put another dam here. And it'll go all the way down to the end of the row. And then I start, once it gets down there, I start damming it up back this way. So each and every, every space, I have water in it like it is in that first section right there. And you know that water will eventually, I mean this, this ground's loose, as you can tell, it's, it's, it's pretty loose. That water will go underneath the row to the roots. I don't know. I, I just like this method a whole lot better than sprinkling because hot as it is through the summer months and everything, you burn stuff up by putting cold water on top of your plants, you know. And I know you can do it at night, but still the sun's going to come out the next morning. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I don't leave that water in that middle until I let it sit there until about 9, 10 o'clock when the sun starts to get up in the sky and it starts warming up, I'll open them dams up and let the water leave off in that middle. And that way it won't scald my plants on each side. Just as I did over here. See, there's the dam right there. Well, I open it up. And it... See how it goes up on the side of that row? I'll show you more in depth here in just a little bit. And well, my wife, she loves these peas, these uh, zippers. I don't know if you ever had any dealings with them or not, but she loves the zipper pea. And I hadn't had very good luck out of them lately as far as germinating and coming up for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm just going to back off out here and I'm going to plant her about three rows, I think. And maybe we'll get a mess. Maybe some of them will come up. I don't know why the seed. The seed I've been getting is not as, not as good as I like. See, i got all kind of ground laid out here that I tillered up. But I'm going to plant something, though. I mean, there's no use in letting ground just lay out when you're able to uh, plant something on it. And if I don't use all of it, I'll give it away. Or... Cause I don't know. I I'm just the type of person I don't like. I don't much like selling food. I I just more or less just like to give it away. I. They don't let people come pick when they want to and whenever, you know, when my storehouses get full and it's open, open range in. But we have to, God will provide with our storehouses, right? But don't get me wrong. I'll give me. I'll give somebody anything I got if they need it. If they need it. All right. I'm going to leave you here in just a little bit. I'll show you about the uh, dams. 